Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is, what is it? Today's day is Wednesday. I put my sunglasses away. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. Um, today, I told you, is a grocery haul shopping day today. So we are out of food. I opened my refrigerator and I laugh because literally on the shelf there's like Parmesan cheese, coffee creamer, there's the container of French toast I made and some of those little pizza roll-ups and that's it. <laughs> and there's some eggs in the other refrigerator, a little bit of milk. I was like, all right, we're down to nothing, which is good. I mean, we st yes, we could still eat for a few days, but we have family coming in tonight. So we are excited for that. We'll share that tomorrow. So I am off this morning early to get some groceries. Um, I've planned out a menu for the next couple weeks and I'm going to hit grocery outlet today. Not hit. I'm going to go into grocery outlet. I'm going to go to Aldi and I'm going to go to Walmart and then the farmer's market today. That's the only place I'm going to go to. Plan on enough food for the next two weeks and then um, it's, it'll it'll suffice and give us some food. So we're going to go in. Let's go see if we find some deals. I'm going early. If you come to the grocery aisle early, sometimes they have like um, their meat that they mark down. It's really good hamburger and stuff. And I don't, I'm out of all of that. I have nothing. And usually I get the big rolls down at our discount store while I haven't even gone there. So I need to pick some up. And so it's just going to be a good day. So let's bring you along, see if we can find some deals gonna be a good time so let's go into grocery outlet one day I'd like to go in here they've got some really neat little treasures I've heard I just haven't been in there yet but we're gonna go to this one grocery outlet we're out of crackers for a dollar fifty nine I'm gonna get one they have peppered salami for a dollar I'm gonna get one of these I think do a little munchy thing for a dollar like a little charcuterie board or something this is gonna get dollar ninety nine for a bunch of these but I don't really need those so anybody else love sauerkraut dollar for a bag what are these? A dollar peanut butter flavored dessert with milk chocolate pieces. I bet you that's delicious for a dollar. Sausage strips. I've never seen this sausage. Like it looks like bacon. All right, my kids like bologna. 89 cents. I'm gonna get some. Get two bolognese. Oh, look at this. It's 2.99. That's a big thing. I'm gonna get that. That's not bad. Seven dollars for three of these. Oh, they have regular kind too. I'm gonna get one of those. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna do rum, and this would be a good meat. Ground beef. Let me get these. All right, we'll get like six pounds of ground beef. They're all reduced, so it's like two sixty-nine. I think I'm gonna pick one of these up for to have for the weekend. Beef. That'll work. I gotta get some buns then. I don't usually ever buy hamburger already made, but I think that's gonna work. I don't know how much this is at Aldi, but I'm gonna get it here for three thirty-nine. Actually, they have a turkey one, don't they? Mm, I'll just get one here. We'll always have more. This is five dollars, but this is really good, so I'm gonna get this here. This is kind of neat. It's pickling vinegar base. It's already made for three ninety-nine. I don't need that, but because I'm gonna use my vinegar, but that's very good. It's already done. Do you need more tortillas, Amy? Two for a dollar. You just can't beat that. You get four. This will get eaten. I know it will. All right, two more. I'm gonna get another one of these for our ramen night. It's kind of neat, like stir fry oil. Safflower sesame, safflower and avocado for $1.99. Yummy. And these look yummy. Carrot for $1.49. I'll try those. I'll get some white for $3.79. I feel like that's the deal. Still watch a good tea for a dollar and sleepy time for a dollar. Look at this. They have breast fed beef for $5. That's a good deal. Pot stuffers for $7.99. We still have a lot of that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. My kids would love me if I got these. She's carrots. I need some of those. Remember they have these at, where do we go, Culver's? Oh, I'd be the best mommy. I have to get some more pickle chips because they are good. All right, one store done. This is what I do to keep my stuff cold. Just gotta use this insulated blanket here with some ice packs in it. I'm gonna head to Aldi. Okay, what to go is nice and I call it go because one of the stores is called Go Grocery. This is grocery. I guess it is Go Grocery Outlet. Never mind. Go Grocery Outlet. So I went in there, got just nice. There was very not many people in there, so I got to kind of walk through slow, pick out things, and got a few things. I think I spent a hundred in there, a hundred dollars in there. So just things to have for the next few weeks and just some maybe some stuff to shove in the freezer for whatever we decide to eat it. So I'm gonna go ahead to Aldi now and then uh, pick up some more of my list. You can lie to all on veggies at Aldi. They have a really good deal on all veggies. So I got some of those. $5.35. That price has gone up. These are good though. We're gonna get some of these. Oh, I feel like $10 is a lot for these. That's okay. We'll get that. Well, this is one. I'm gonna get some more pretzels here. The bread is only 79 cents. So I'm gonna get two of these. I'm gonna get those hamburgers. I'm gonna get two buns here. I have really good salsa for a dollar. I'm gonna get two of these. I'm gonna get these for nachos. Okay, those are like Girl Scout cookies right there for a dollar. So delicious. 
I'm trying to go off my list here, but I just keep looking at it. I did get nacho chips. So salsa and nacho chips. All right. We're still going to do good. These are only 75 cents. I got to remember that. I just paid $1.25 for the name brand ones. I'm going to get some of these. A Colby Jack. Let's do a sharp one. Pepper chip. I'm going to get a chicken and lunch in here for sandwiches. Get some sharp cheese for that. This is good. I know that I need to make some granola. It's something that I need to make. $1.45, I'll get a couple of these. Actually, just one of these. This looks good. Get a trail mix for Jaden. Give me some peanuts. I do not have lettuce. Do I get the mini ones? I'll do the mini ones. Mini ones. All right, I'm finding a lot of things in here. Just going slow walking through the store. I even see a whole lot of things. I've got delicious candles. I got some cute, they had pretzel buns. Just a bunch of different little things. So I'm going to finish up the store here. Probably not sure because there's a lot of people in the next aisle. So, and then I'll show you what I got when I get done. Found the small piece. This is one of my kids like. I'm gonna get it. I think I can get a box. There's no limit right now. I'm gonna get a case of it. All right, I forgot Aldi has no bags, so that's there. Got this under here, and I'm gonna put these up in the. All right, Aldi done. I forget how much I enjoy Aldi, the store. I stopped going there during, you know, when everything happened, just because I was doing grocery pickup sometimes, and it was just easier to get everything there at Walmart and Sam's Club. So, but I do enjoy Aldi, so I might be seeing Aldi a lot more in my future. So, I got a bunch of stuff. Even picked up stuff for the shower for next week, which I wasn't planning on, but. I saw it and I'm like, I just need to get that. So what I'm doing as I'm shopping or when I'm done with each store is I'm, I told, this isn't sponsored by my Fetch Rewards. I'm doing those. So I have to keep my receipt. I'm just throwing them away. So just to get the receipt gone. Got plenty of stuff there. All good things. Now we're going to go ahead to Walmart. I got a lot of my stuff here. So I won't, there's only going to be, well, I say smaller things at Walmart. So we're going to go to Walmart and see what we can find. Okay, I do a pit stop real quick. I was looking at my list and I'm like, what else did I have to do today? I have to run into Harbor Freight and pick up a nine volt battery one of those weird things, but Harbor Freight has really good rechargeable batteries. And so I use my nine volt, I had to take it out of the device. I got to put back in that device. So I'm gonna run in there and get it cause they're cheap and they last really good. So it needed more than just a battery and they only had one rechargeable. So I picked up a regular kind. Um, and then I got a cover for my fire grill. We had a cover for it and then the dog ate it, which is awesome. So I've never covered it. Well, it just keeps getting water and I'm like, I just need to get a tarp and we never usually go to Harbor Freight all the time. And so I just forget about it. So I was in there, I was like, oh, four dollars i'm getting one. so i got that and some ties and that and a flashlight for the girls closet because for some reason they lose theirs all the time so now i'm heading to walmart all right they do have copy paper so i'm gonna get some of this get three of those their shelves are still looking bare for folders let's see if i can even find one is that cool or is that like kind of yucky i think that'll work this one i need one of these for brooklyn remember these anybody else have a trapper keeper oh these were when i was a kid yep the trapper keeper and everything was inside that's so fun. That's so neat. Trapper keeper. Childhood right there. This is nice. Everything under control. I like that. And some of this, the wide wool paper, they have some. And they have folders. Good. Or the plastic. That's good. I get plastic. All right, I need 10 folders. So I got these, all these plastic ones. But they're a lot more than the 20 cent folder, but that'll work. This is for me today. Got these just for, um, instead of having soda, just a treat. We had some of this this weekend. Simply peach, that's really good juice. If you need something different to try, try that one. Found coffee cream, then I found pumpkin spice. Yummy. Get some of this for the kids. Throw out eggs. We're just gonna get two of these. I'll do it. I'm actually gonna get some of these. Lemonade. We're gonna try lime as well. Is that good? We're going for the mega Cheerios. We do like Cheerios. I'm gonna get this and mix it with the plain one. Probably get even better. Found some of these. Okay, for a really short trip, I'm definitely going slow and just picking out things for fun. So that's okay. We're gonna have family here the next few weeks. It's always good to have extra things, but I, I'm, I'm gonna get, I've got a few more things on my list, but I'm definitely um, just adding more fun things too. I think I might do this for my, um, what's this stuff called? Pad Thai. I don't like much. Oh, look at that one right there. Deluxe stir fry. Look at that. That'll probably be delicious. Broccoli, green beans, carrots, corn, chestnuts. Okay. My kids like mint ice cream. I'm going to get them the mint one. I'm just going to get a vanilla because we have those cookie dough bites, which would be really good. Okay, we're on sherbet to grandma. Some tater tots. We'll do some C 
Pepsis and wedges. I wish they had a family size. Do they have family size? They don't. Just do small ones. Chicken strips for today and popcorn chicken. Another last minute person is chicken patties. I'm thinking for the days that we have college and it's late. I just gotta get some more buns. Okay, definitely got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go check out. All right, so my battery may die. May shut off. I didn't bring an extra one. Why didn't I? I don't know, because I usually never need one, and today I need one. So Walmart's done. I got a lot of stuff, a lot of extra stuff, but that's okay. We don't have any groceries, really, at all at home. So things I picked up will just... All right, so got home. Battery died, so cut me off in mid-sentence, but I got a lot of things at Walmart. Like I said, we have nothing. Look in our fridge. It's empty, so... There's nothing in there, so I grabbed a few things definitely to make life easier in the days that we have to do running so we don't always have to eat out. So this is what we found. This is what I got at the discount store first. I got Philadelphia cream cheese. I got the cheese curds. I thought they'd like that because we had that over at Culver's. Pepperoni. They had pecans chopped. I think this was $5. So I'll put that away. These are two for a dollar. Got some crackers, two bologna, got some fried pickle chips, giant thing of life there. And then hamburger meat. I think I got, what did I get? Eight pounds, one, two, three. Or five. I think there's eight in there and hamburgers. I'll put those away in the freezer. We'll use those this week. Big can of marinara for five. These because I thought that would look good. Big giant sweet potatoes because I think they were like maybe seven dollars for all of those. Three pack of butter. Got some more of these because they're really good. I'm going to keep them frozen. Then we got vanilla ice cream so we can mix with it. And then over here is going to be um, Aldi. So I got some spring mix, broccoli. These we can do like lettuce wraps, lots of grapes lettuce for some tacos this is actually a discount store over here is the bread so I picked up bread there bagels pine bread buns these are open they shouldn't be but we must open them and I got two things that pita we're gonna have found these there so I got two of these we like eating those and I picked up these Jaden's doing college and she's there for a long time so I said I pick up some single hummus for her to take to eat so I got those then picked up hummus for us picked up some chicken lunch meat and some cheese because it was like spur of the moment like getting it with the salami so I thought we'll just maybe eat that when people are here this week. Got some sharp cheese, pretzels to eat. Picked up a package of socks because they were there and they were $5. And I know my socks, like I have some from last year, but they're worn and then I always forget to get socks for myself. So I got myself a pair of black socks. I got some yogurt for a family that's coming this weekend. Got some green onions. Got one. I think I got more of these. There's chopped salad somewhere else, but there's got to be. Somewhere else, there's more. And some carrots, we got chips for nachos. Got some couscous, I bought this at Aldi and I ended up buying a big pack over at um, Walmart. It's okay, we're gonna eat it. Bought one box of shredded wheat. I got fresh peeled garlic. This has gotta be better than the mint stuff, right? Supposedly it is, so we're gonna do that. I need a bacon bits. This I bought for Jaden, for something just to have like a little trail mix for her to take with her. Got these for Brooklyn, Brooklyn's teenager. I found that teenagers like to go through the vegan phase of life most all my girls have done that so I got these two for her to try out I use like eating those two this is gonna be for Lauren's shower I was just in Aldi and we're making a noodle salad so I bought some of it because it was there salsa we got refried beans because Jaden is gone for college late so I got these just to have something easy that she can make when she's hungry she gets home got some kiwi fruit got some mini peppers again some granola for Jaden just so she can make it with a smoothie for an easy quick breakfast saw these at check on I thought they looked yummy Got these for our pad thai. Bought this, it was $5.99. We're almost out of ours and this will be good to have this week. This was on clearance, I wanna say six bucks. We don't need a floaty right now, but I will put it away for next year because we have the pool, so we can do that now. And then they had candles. Yes, Aldi has really yummy candles. I've got one over there I'm burning right now. This is good, this is pear, chestnut, and teak. Very delicious. This one, fall flannel shirt and apple, or pumpkin apple fritter. So good, I think these are $3.99, love those. Got a case of these, these are the peas my kids like, the small ones, and I couldn't find them. Nobody else has them, so I just got a flat of those, and then I got garbanzo beans, a flat of those, because we're gonna use those. I picked up a watermelon there, too. And then this is Walmart. So for Walmart, we got, let me go to Frozen here. Saw so these, I thought we can make chicken sandwiches for dinner on the days that life is crazy, so I picked those up. These we're gonna have tonight, chicken breast strips, because I have to go pick up family at the airport. Got broccoli, this is gonna be for pad thai. So I saw that, I thought that would be good. Need, I have some frozen chicken, but I picked up some more to have for this next week so I don't have to go out and get any more. This is gonna be for tonight too, between that and that. So I thought we could do wedges and tater tots with our hamburgers I bought, ice cream. We can mix that with the, over there, the, what's that stuff called? It's called cookie dough bites. I bought this so we can do with the sandwiches. I picked up two of these. I'm gonna try to force myself to eat some yogurt. I don't like it. 
I'm going to see. So I'm going to, if you get the good kind, then maybe it's not so bad and I can wean my way into this. But I'm going to try this. So I just got these two for me. Got this for family coming. This was from Aldi. This is an Aldi one. This is from Walmart. So I got a bigger one for us to have this week. We got some lemons there as well. Pick these up for little bowls for salad. And then I found a big one, pepperoni at Walmart. So I grabbed that and I got this for Jaden. It's the vegan cheese. Grab some, bless you. Got some gum there. Cut coconut milk because I have curry paste to make some curry, but I need um, milk for that. And then I picked this up for my kids. <laughs> Does anybody know what this stuff is? Spam. Okay, my kids and I have been talking about spam and I'm like, it's definitely potted meat, it can gross. But I'm like, I remember it as a kid. It's crispy and good and I don't, I've been seeing it lately. They talk about having it with ramen and I'm like, you know what, let me get some. And you can fry it up just so you can see what it's like to have with your ramen. So I got one spam and then one Walmart brand. So we'll try just so they can experience the whole spam life and then got these for family coming this week got cereal cheerios frosted flakes and crunchy honey honey oats i thought that would be good got creamer picked up pumpkin spice and the funfetti and almond milk got some coffee for on the go got the lemonades because we're gonna have family here i got a limeade a lemonade and the peach this is really really good bought these for the kids to have just something special besides soda so we've got fuji apple peach pineapple coconut i think there's an orange Orange cream is good and strawberry, so they can just use that with ice. Got these things for school. I spent a lot of money on these for compared to like 10 cents a folder. <laughs> so I think this was $2.99. So these would be good to use. Got paper. And then all of these, like this is the notebook for Brooklyn. These ended up being like a dollar a piece. One of them showed up 10 cents. The rest were like a dollar. And I was like, that's okay. So basically $10 in folders. Still cheaper than uh, doing school the way we're going to do it. So we got it paper to print off here and then um, eggs had to buy them this way this was actually an Aldi find Walmart bananas Walmart milk Walmart orange juice for family I got this because it's got almonds cashews pistachios pecans and macadamia nuts so I thought that'd be a nice mixture just to grab small amount just to have to munch with this is for my mom because she was here and we couldn't find any so I thought I'd grab some and I found this couscous in the big container here and then hamburger buns I bought more for the um, chicken patties there ice cream got this and i got mint chocolate chip picked this up it was on clearance i want to say it's nine dollars was it nine dollars nine dollars it's just a beach cover-up i saw it this year and i was going to get it and i didn't but it was on clearance so i thought i'll use it so i got this to throw on when i'm at the pool i'll use it next year got picked up this cheese because i ended up getting more lunch meat when i was at walmart these are delicious so i got these and i got the walmart brand to have for one family salami for the kids to have this with the big old thing of cream cheese over there and the bagels over there a big old chicken breast for us to eat got cottage cheese because that's good to have just to eat kids don't like fresh parmesan some do some like this stuff and i know this is what not good but they like it so i bought some of this i don't ever buy this but again to make it easier because life right now things easier is a good thing so i bought this it was like eight dollars this will last a long time we can use this in our waffle maker or to have pancakes. I had one already. I got one of these to eat. Bought some black beans for Brooklyn to make some bowls. The limes were really bad and they were like not very good. So I just got two and I got lime juice at Walmart. Bought these for next week for family and I saw these thin ones. I thought those would be good. Picked up more chicken sauce because, you know, if we run out, that would be terrible. And Jensen had yesterday buffalo one with ranch and he liked it. So I bought him this one to have and then Oh yeah, coconut milk. Panko, look what I found, panko breadcrumbs. So I got that because I didn't know where that was at in the store ever any other time and I've got it in my pantry now. Got four Alfredo here for different dishes we're gonna have and then bought this because life and sometimes it works out to be crazy and a go-to will be box macaroni and cheese. And I'm okay with that. Picked up more canned goods. I picked up these right here. I like to have these on hand and I don't have any on hand so I bought the petite ones and these are more chickpeas because we are definitely going to be using these. Jaden wanted these for college and then I went to the farmer's market and they had, they said, they, I was like, do you guys have any cucumbers? They're like, let me see. But they said due to flooding because I didn't forget about the storm and the flooding so they said it was a little bit um, not as good as before but I was able to get a basket. I think it was $20 last time. It was $22 this time. Still a good deal. So if we don't eat all these, we'll make them into cute uh, pickles. Got two tomatoes and then their lime look really good I don't even know how much these were but definitely better and more full than these ones seem harder so I got those picked up two of these little I think these are I don't know if these are jalapenos I'm assuming they are small amount of tomatoes good giant peaches here so I just got four of those 
and Lauren said she wants some squash, so I got her some. Harbor Freight, I got plastic cords here, a light for the girls, the batteries, these are the really good ones, but I picked these up so that Jaden has them for a guitar, and then here is a tarp. So that is my grocery haul for family for the next few weeks. So all the groceries are put away. We did that and we sat and talked for a little bit and now I'm like, I need to close today's video because this afternoon I have to go head to the airport and pick up family. So I'm excited, you'll see them tomorrow. So it'll be good. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow with another video and let's read our proverb for the day. So we're in Proverbs 14, verse 27. 27. The reverent fear of the Lord that leads to obedience and worship is a fountain of life, so that one may avoid the snares of death. In a multitude of people is a king's glory, but in a lack of people is a pretentious prince's ruin. He who is slow to anger and has great understanding and profits from his self-control, but he who is quick-tempered exposes and exalts his foolishness for all to see. A calm and peaceful and tranquil heart is life and health to the body but passion and envy are like rottenness to the bones. He who oppresses the poor taunts and insults his maker, but he who is kind and merciful and gracious to the needy honors him. The wicked is overthrown through his wrongdoing, but the righteous has hope and confidence and a refuge with God even in death. Wisdom rests silently in the heart of the one who has understanding, but what is in the heart of short-sighted fools is made known. Righteousness, moral and spiritual integrity, and virtuous character exalts a nation, but sin is a disgrace to any people. The king's favor and goodwill are toward a servant who acts wisely and discreetly, but his anger and wrath are toward him who acts shamefully. Lots of good wisdom in there when reading these proverbs. So, all right, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. See you tomorrow with another video. All right, we'll see ya. Bye.